Well, hello, everybody, and happy Thursday. It is Thursday, March 16th, 2023, and it is 7 o'clock Eastern Time. So welcome, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I see a lot of you guys are already waiting for me. Hello, everybody. Hey, Bill. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Annie. Hey, Starla. Hey, Julie. Hey, Francis. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Sherry. Uh, let's see, Robin, Mary, Starla says, make sure your cards are straight. <laughs> All right, don't forget, this is the new card kit. Oh my gosh, I've got it going the wrong way. Hold on. <laughs> You're looking at the ceiling. <laughs> okay, hold on. Where is my thing? Oh, where is the other button? There we go. <laughs> I just looked at the screen and it's upside down. Oh, I had it right, and then the thumbnail wouldn't load, so I had to turn it off, take a picture, go to my photos, edit the picture, and then upload that, so then I had to start all over, and I forgot to flip it, so sorry about that, guys. You're looking... I was wondering why I couldn't see the cards in the camera. <laughs> oh, you never know what you're going to get when you see these videos. <laughs> So, how is everybody doing? <laughs> We're off to a great start today. <laughs> uh, Annie says, love napkin cards yet have never made one. Okay. Well, you are going to see how to do one today. They're super, super easy. And I've got two different ones we're going to make tonight. And um, I did it with and without glitter. So, I was going to get your opinion which one you like the best. And I'll do um, which one you guys like the best. So, we're going to make both cards, but you can pick with or without glitter. And then the kit will be, um, I don't know if I should just let you guys pick which one you want or if you want to do two of each or I'll just say whichever one everybody likes the best. So, but this is the next card kit. So this will be the kit for March 16th to the 31st. If you place a $50 or more order using the host code. And then the gems, if your order's over $100, we're going to have a smorgasbord of different ones. So I just, oh, there's one stuck to that one. Um, I have a lot of different ones and like four or five of each. So I didn't want to really buy more since this catalog is expiring in about a month. So I'm just going to try and get rid of some that I have. So I have a bunch of different ones. So I'll just pick one and you'll get that with your kit. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos with napkins, here are some of the other ones that I've done. So this one, this was probably my favorite one I ever did with the pumpkin, with the um, sunflowers. And then the pumpkin one was a really cute one. And then we had a dragonfly. And this was another one with this. These three were all the same napkin. Oops, these four, sorry. So these four were all the same exact napkin but I just did them different directions um, and with different background paper. And then this was without the glitter, which everybody liked better than with the glitter. So it's really hard to tell on the camera because the glitter is so sparkly and everything. And I'm looking at the computer screen and it doesn't really look that glittery, but um, it's so pretty. Like if you just see how sparkly it is, but people liked it better without the glitter. So I don't know. I like them both. <laughs> so we're going to do both today and you can decide which one you like the best. So if you missed any of these videos, these are old videos because um, today is Throwback Thursday. So I've done napkin cards uh, several times before and these are just some of my old videos. But um, so you could just search Lisa Freeman napkin cards and I think that would probably come up. Um, or you can just click on my videos and scroll back. Um, I haven't done one in a while though, so it's been a little bit of time since I think I did one in the fall was the last one was that pumpkin one. So this one, I didn't finish the card. I just kind of did both to show you the difference, but um, it's just so sparkly, but it just doesn't, it, the camera really does not do it justice because it's really pretty in person. So I'll let you guys decide if you like it better with or without glitter. So let me get back to saying hello to everybody. 
I can't remember where I stopped. I remember Sherry, Sharon, Kathy, Diane, Nina, Cynthia, Patricia, Terry, Sue, Beth, Vicki. How are you guys all doing? Oh, we got a lot of people on here now. Um, glitter is beautiful, but it does make the color less vibrant. Yeah, it does kind of mute it a little bit. I've had so many of napkin cards now since you shared how to do them. <laughs> Starla loves the napkin cards. I do too. I love making napkin cards. Every time I go somewhere, I'm always looking at napkins. If it's TJ Maxx or Tuesday morning or what, it doesn't matter where I go. I always look for napkins and just so I can have some. So these are a couple packs that I had in my stash and I thought they were good kind of springy looking ones. Um, my favorite is still that pumpkin one that I had. That was like my all time favorite. But these I got, these are from TJ Maxx. And these are from, I think, Tuesday morning I got these. So they just come in a pack like this for, you know, not much. Um, Amazon has great, great um, napkins, but theirs are a little bit more pricey. So um, I was buying them from Amazon, but they they were like, some of them were 10 or 11 12 $15 for a pack. So I've been looking for them cheaper. So those are the ones we're using today. So I hope you like these cards. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Yeah, don't forget. Thumbs up. Like it, share it, comment, all that good stuff. Um, Belinda says they look frosted instead of glittery. If you saw it in person, you'd see like all the sparkle. It's very, very sparkly. I don't know if I hold it at an angle if you can see it. And I can see that one. I guess with the light, if I block the light, you can really see that one now. How much glitter is on it without the light shining on it. Oh, so pretty. See, oh yeah, you can really see it now. Oh, I love it. So pretty. I really wish Stampin' Up! would bring back Dazzling Diamonds glitter. Um, Sue says, our Tuesday morning is closing. Uh, almost all of ours have closed. We only have two left. Um, oh, Diane says there's spring napkins from Dollar Tree that are gorgeous. Um, I look when I go to Dollar Tree, but I have never found any good ones in there. Um, it is, this is Pale Papaya and Bermuda Bay. Yep. And all I did was I just took the napkin and I just kind of set it with all my papers kind of lined up in a filing cabinet. And I just kind of went across the papers and, you know, to pick out which ones match. I really think that would probably go perfectly with Pretty Peacock, but... We really don't have that back yet, but it is coming back in May. So that would have been a really good color. I tried it with the Tahitian Tide, but there was such a small amount that it didn't really show up. But the Pale Papaya matched perfectly and the Bermuda Bay I thought was pretty close. So that's how I picked those colors. And then for this one, I looked at it again and I said, oh, that's pretty much uh, Sahara Sand or Crumb Cake. Either one would have probably worked um, well. And then this one, the closest was Balmy Blue. I tried Pacific Point and it was just a little bit too dark. So that's why we stick with that one. So what do you guys think? Do you like it with the glitter or without the glitter the most? With glitter and flowers, no glitter. Oh, starfish with glitter, flowers, no glitter. With glitter. Yeah, the glitter definitely looks better in person. Um, without glitter as it takes away the colors. Well, let me see. Okay, so which one do you like the best? Do you like the flowers better or the starfish the best? Timu, Timu has beautiful cheap napkins. Oh, I haven't, I ordered something from there a couple weeks ago. I ordered several things actually. And some of the things were good and some of them were really junk. So I was kind of disappointed a little bit because um, it just popped up on Facebook one day and I was like, oh, and I looked and it said it shipped from the United States, but really it is like from China. But um, everything on there is like, you know, between a dollar and like $5 or something. And so I ordered a few things and it had free shipping and, um, some of them I just threw in the trash, but <laughs> I did get a few good things. <laughs> so it's kind of a hit and miss with that Timu thing. All right. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Most people are saying flowers. 
Love glitter and the starfish. Okay. Well, we're going to do both. And then I think what I'll do is just let you pick. So if you order $50 or more for the next two weeks, just, um, I always email you. If you, if you order from me, I always send you an email right away. Um, unless I'm at work, then I'll send it a little bit later, but thanking you for the order. So then you can pick which one, which kits you'd like to get. So it'll be four of each. So you'll get four of this card or four of this card. Or you can do half and half. I don't care. But I'm going to do four because when you do the napkins and you unfold them, you get four. So I figure I might as well give you four because when you open it up, that you get four on here. So I'm going to show you. You know how napkins work. <laughs> so it's the same on all four squares. So you'll get enough to make four of these with one napkin. So good deal there. Um, also, don't forget when you're doing them, you have to peel off the layers. So you want it down to one layer. I don't know if you can see this. It actually has like flowers in the background, but they don't really show up. Well, I guess they do show up on there. I just noticed that. I didn't even see it the first time. So you want it down to one ply. These come three ply and you want to peel that back. So I already did that one. And that's the trickiest part of doing these is getting that ply off. So that was one. And I had a trick. If you put a little bit of tape on your finger, like wrap it around your finger, it usually will come off really easily. But this one's pretty easy too. All right, so there we go. We took off two plies and then you should be able to see through it. And then when you put the white behind it, it really pops. I like them both. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it up to you guys and we'll, I'll have both available for the kits and you can just tell me which one you want. Um, and, and then again, the gems will be just random pick. I wanted to show you some um, things I got. I got some happy mail. And I also have a few things to show you from my weekend with the girls. So this card I got in the mail from Amy Marr. And it is a, a um, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, which I thought was really cute. And she sent me the directions on how to make it. So I thought that was really cute. So thank you, Amy, for that. And then this one I thought was really cool. I have never seen a card like this. This is from Marie Anderberry. And, oh, she's from Bremerton. I have a friend... Gina Cable, well, Gina Tadula, <laughs> who lives in Bremerton. Um, I don't know how she did this unless she took an envelope. That's the only thing I can think of is she took an envelope and traced it to make this. So, Marie, you'll have to tell me how you made this card. But you open it like that. But I thought, that is so cool. But I think it would take, I don't know if it's the same. Hold on. It is bigger. So, it'd be more than... Um, eight and a half. So you'd have to cut it the other way. So you don't even get one out of a sheet of paper. But I'm thinking she just took an envelope like and traced that curve on there. But I thought that was so cool. And I love this paper. That was from one of our paper pumpkin kits. So love it, love it, love it. So thank you, Marie, for that card. And then these are the projects. Let me see this one. Oh, this was when I got in the mail. So this one is from Devana and... Alderson. She sent me a little Easter card that I thought was adorable. Isn't that cute? Love it. I always love the notes you guys put in the cards too. I think they're so sweet. All right. So here is what we made at um, our get together. And I think I showed you. Yeah, I already did a video with my card. So this was um, one of the cards that we did. This was my friend Lynn. She made that one. And then this one was Paula's card. And I think the pineapple is retired, but um, I think everything else, well, the paper is retired too, but it's okay. And then Sherry did a napkin card. So hers was really pretty too. I love that one. So very cool projects we did. So we'd had four projects. Mine, mine I already showed you guys. All right, so I think we're ready to start. Let me get all my stuff ready. All right, so we're going to do both of these, and I'll do one with glitter and one without, just, just to show you how to do it. So I'm going to start with the flower one. So for the flower one, you need uh, five and a half by eight and a half Bermuda Bay, and five and a quarter by four Pale Papaya, 
five and a quarter by four white. That's for the inside. Three and three quarters by three and three quarters white. Three and a quarter by one Bermuda Bay and three by three quarters white. So that's, let me put this down here. So that's all the supplies for the, oh, and then the napkin, of course. You need the napkin. Let's put that like that. All right, so there you go. If you wanna take a screenshot of what you need. Kathy says, I need to go napkin shopping. Yeah, I know. I Everywhere I go, I look for napkins. Um, need a good shot of starfish card. Oh, good shot of the starfish card. Okay, hold on. I'll put it. I'll put it back up when I do the screenshot. That's the envelope. Oh, it's the envelope from the paper pumpkin kit. What? How did I not know that? I still have it sitting on my table from when I did it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. Huh? You learn something new every day. Has the bunny come back in stock yet? I do not know. I don't think so. Vicky says no bunny yet. Those really look like a watercolor wash and I love the beach themes. I know, aren't they pretty? Didn't see this before. Um, okay. Need a good job. That's the envelope. I can't believe that's the envelope. I'm gonna have to look through that stuff. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of that. So let me put it right here. I'll take these off. So I was off today, thank goodness. It was such a nice day. It was gorgeous outside, but I had so much to do catching up on everything. So I'm not going to stamp anything on the inside. You can stamp whatever you want. I didn't really have time to do it because <laughs> I was running late today. Um... So I didn't see up the inside, but I got finished just in time for the video. All right, so what we wanna do is glue this down and I'm gonna use glue stick because that just seems to be the best way to do it. So I've, you can use any kind of glue stick you want. So I've just got a regular old Scotch glue stick and this is our silicone mat. This just makes it good. So if you get glue over the edge, it's not gonna mess up your workspace. So just get the whole entire thing covered with the glue stick. And it's hard not to get your fingers a little bit gooey. All right, and then what I like to do is put it down um, with the, whoops, <laughs> with the napkin <laughs> face down <laughs> and then just kind of center it um, around that. All right, and then just press it in Flip it over, press it down. You don't want any bubbles on there. All right, and then what I do is I cut the corners off so it folds up easier. So I'm just gonna cut these corners. And you want this little bit of overhang so it folds up nice. I've seen some people make these and they just cut it right up to the edge of the paper here. But I don't like to do that because um, Sometimes I feel like it's just not, not gonna stay on there if you don't have it wrapped around. So then put some tape right up on the edge and we're just gonna fold those over. So just pull it tight, fold it over and there you go. So that's all you gotta do. Like one minute, super easy card. So um, then we're gonna stick that on here, but I'm gonna show you how to do the glitter first. So we're going to do this one with the glitter. Um, all you have to do is use one of our um, adhesive sheets and these come in a big pack like this. You get 12 sheets of 6 by 12. So I just cut them into smaller pieces. So I've got a piece that's exactly the same size. So it should line up exactly on there. So what you're going to do is just peel half of it off and it comes like with these slits in there so you can peel it off and then you just got to be really really careful and stick it down right on the edge there we go and then rub it in and then just peel off the rest of it and just kind of 
stick it down like that. Then you want to just kind of really give it a good press with anything like a scraper or a bone folder or whatever you've got. Because you want that um, glue to release itself from the paper. So make sure it's really good. Give it a good press. All right, so here is the moment of truth. So hopefully it'll come off without leaving any goo behind. All right, so this is Dazzling Diamonds Glitter that we used to have, but we don't have it anymore. So if you don't have it, you just have to find some really ultra fine, I need my glasses, ultra fine um, glitter. And I do have a link in the description box from Amazon. There's one that's pretty close. All right, so you're gonna get the corner and gently peel it back. So hopefully you guys can see all the stickiness is on the napkin. And then we're gonna cover that with glitter. Oh, it looks so pretty. Can you guys see that sparkle? Oh man, there's one little spot missing right there. Dang, well, that stinks. <laughs> oh, it looks like my napkin ripped or something. I don't know what happened there. I just got like a little bubble. We'll have to put a gem or something there to cover that up. All right, so there you go with the glitter. I don't know what happened with that because that's the first one I messed up. All right, we're gonna stamp our words. I'm covered in glitter now. <laughs> We're gonna stamp our words. Oh, you know what? I need to stamp the words in the other color first because I've got, I didn't bring my cleaner with me. So let me just stamp these in balmy blue first real fast because it's easier to go from a light color to a dark color than backwards. So this is balmy blue. So I'm just doing this ahead of time. Oh, I like that side better. Okay, so this is for the next card, but we're just going to pretend like I didn't do that yet. All right, so then let me switch colors real quick. And Starla, I'm sorry. I know you want to take a picture of that. Um, I put it straight for you. All right, so then we're going to stamp our words. So there you go. So this is Bermuda Bay. So we're done with that. And then we're gonna glue these two together. I don't know why I'm using this tape. Because I usually use the green Tombow glue. All right, there we go. So then we're gonna stick this one on here and I'm gonna use the Tombow glue. And hopefully this one comes out. Yep. Okay, and then kind of pick which way you want it to go. I think I'm gonna do it this well. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do it this way. And we'll just stick something on that. That would be a good place to put some words or something where that messed up that one a little bit. And let's flip it over. All right. Then we're gonna put some ribbon on here. So I've got the matching pale papaya ribbon. So we're just gonna put that under here and tie a little knot. Right in the middle. And I always I always leave my ribbon on the roll usually um, just to kind of save it so you can cut it you know, really close on the one side so you don't waste any. So there you go. And then we're gonna put that on our front, card front. So we'll just stick that with green glue. I think those colors really look pretty together. I love it, love that color combination. Because I never would have picked these two colors to go together if I hadn't seen this napkin. But the napkin just like really makes them pop. 
All right, and then just pop that under there. Oops, I'm crooked. And then on the inside, I know I should have looked for a flower. There's probably, I'm sure we have a flower that matches this napkin. But I couldn't think of one off the top of my head and I was kind of in a hurry. I went to take my taxes in today, which is always uh, a day I dread because I know I'm gonna have to pay taxes. <laughs> Every year I have to pay taxes. <laughs> so it's depressing, but I dropped those off. Then I went and got a massage and um, I thought I would have more time when I got home, but then I remembered I had to make Rice Krispie treats for tomorrow. We're having a big um, potluck at work tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day. So I had to make green Rice Krispie treats and I had forgot all about it until I got home and then I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta make those Rice Krispies. And uh, they turned out kind of funky colored. I used almost a whole, you know, I went to go buy food coloring because I didn't have any, I was out, I don't know where what happened to my food coloring, but I couldn't find it. So I went to go buy food coloring, they didn't have any at the grocery store. It's all like gel now, it's not like the little tubes of liquid, they didn't have any. They just had these gel things that are like um, food coloring gel instead of liquid. I used almost the whole entire tube of green gel and it barely, it made it like kind of a mint macaron color and then I put the Rice Krispies in, and then it looked like even lighter. So it just looks like a really funky shade of green. But anyway, that's what I was doing. And then I started doing my cards for tonight. Luckily, I knew what I was doing because I, I thought, oh, it won't take me any time to do a napkin card. So, all right, Starla, here is the picture for this one. Let me read some comments because I know you guys are chit-chatting. You know who I haven't seen tonight is Debbie Spicer. Where is Debbie Spicer? That's why it's so quiet on here. Isn't that using the borders die? Mm, I think she freehand cut it because it looks like it's hand cut. I don't think it's actually an envelope, but I think maybe she just traced it. Um... Glitter protects the napkin. Oh, you know what else I tried to do? I tried to spray this with shimmer spray. Um, shimmer spray does not work on a napkin because as soon as it hits it, it gets wet and wrinkles up. So tip, don't try the shimmer spray because it's not gonna work. <laughs> um, how many colors are usually affected in the color refresh? I don't even remember. Um, we've only had like two or three, or maybe two, that I remember since I've been a demonstrator, which is like for the first like 10 years I was a demonstrator, I don't think we ever had a color refresh. And then they did one. And then I think they've done another one since then. So I think we've only had like a couple major ones where they totally just redid all the colors. But um, the words are from Dainty Delights. Yes, Dainty Delights. Amazon has Dazzling Diamonds Glitter. I looked on there. I have a link to one in my description box, but I don't think it's exactly Dazzling Diamonds. It's pretty close, though. All right, so for the second card, it's basically the exact same stuff, except in different colors. So you've got your five and a half by eight and a half crumb cake, five and a quarter by four balmy blue, five and a quarter by four white, and then your three and three quarters by three and three quarters white. And then your two little pieces, three and a quarter by one balmy blue and three by three quarters white. And then your napkin and the card. So there you go. And then I'll just put that little glitter one up there for you so you can see it. Um, hey, Susan. Can you use a Versamark to protect the napkin? Um, I don't think so. I don't know what you would do with the Versamark unless you're going to emboss it. But I don't know. Um, is either the starfish or the flowers for the kits or a combo of both? Yeah, so Starla, you can either get the starfish kit, the flower kit, or you can get half and half. You can get two of each. So um, I'll just let people pick whatever they want since... Um, 
some people liked both so it I'll, I'll just leave it up to you guys it's it's the same cutting for either one so it doesn't really matter I'll just do it later at the end at the end of the month I always wait till the end of the month anyway and then I can do all of it in one day okay all right so hopefully you got a screenshot of that So I do have a joke for you guys tonight at the end. So that'll be good. It's a really cute one. All right. So again, we're going to start with our piece of white and the napkin. So we're going to cover this with the um, glue again, the glue stick. And it's almost hard to tell which side that is the right side. All right. So we're going to do all over the whole thing with the glue stick. My yard, you know, usually my yard is one of the best yards on the street, but right now it looks horrible. All the weeds are coming up and I don't know why, because I did like the winterizer weed and feed, which usually prevents that in the spring, but it is covered. I'm not even joking, covered in weeds. And we had some warm weather but I didn't have a chance to mow then, so I've been waiting for it to be nice again so I could mow. All right, this one I'm gonna put a little bit up because I'd rather have that, that one than that one, so I probably should have done it over just a little bit. All right, give it a good press, get all the wrinkles out. And then we're gonna cut those corners. You don't have to be really good at it either. <laughs> it just helps fold it over. So it doesn't have to be like exact cuts. Just close, close enough. All right, and then we're gonna put some, um, a little bit of adhesive on here to fold it over. Oops, went off the edge. All right, and then just fold these over. And you want to pull it really tight when you fold it over so it doesn't wrinkle on the other side. And there you go. So there's that one. And then if you wanted to do the glitter, just do the exact same thing. Just put that sheet right on top and then pour the glitter on top. I'm not going to do it for this one. I'm just going to leave this one plain. Um, then we're going to put this on our um, balmy blue. So that's going to go on here. Lost my glue. Okay, oops, I got glue all over my fingers, yuck. All right, and then this one I'm gonna put just like this. I love this color, I think we need a color just like this. It's kind of like, oh, what is that blue? Like, oh, I can't even remember cornflower blue or something. I remember it was a crayon one time. I love that color though. All right, so there's that. And Starla can take a picture. I already stamped the words. So we'll put those together. See how quick these are? These are like really easy cards to make. You could just slap together a pile of these in no time. All right, we're gonna do a different ribbon for this one. So for this one, I've got that one that's in the big catalog. It comes in a two pack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does, because there's nothing on here. It's a two pack in the catalog. You get this one and another one. And I can't remember off the top of my head which one comes with it. <laughs> but it's in the big catalog on the ribbon page. All right, we're just gonna tie this and it's really nice. It's like a... Um, Oh, uh, what do you call it? Twill, it's almost like twill um, tape, except it's a different color. All right, and then trim that up. And there, you, oops, let's straight, straighten that out a little bit. All right, so there you go. And then we're gonna put the back on. I did stamp the inside of this one. So I've got the little starfish. Um, it doesn't match perfectly, but it's close enough. 
So we'll just stamp a couple of these. On here. So there you go, that's the inside. It'll be pretty with a few little sprinkles on there too. All right, so this will go inside the card. I'm gonna use the green glue again. So we're having all sorts of St. Patrick's Day stuff tomorrow. Like um, somebody's making corned beef and somebody's making soda bread and um, all sorts of stuff. I can't even remember now. All right, so this will go on the front. So I'm excited because I don't have to worry about taking something for work to eat tomorrow. And we have a lot of good cooks at work too. I'm gonna turn that over. All right, and then this one I put on with dimensionals. I don't know why I didn't do the other one with dimensionals. But we'll just grab a couple. I'll put that straight. So Starla can get a screenshot of that. And everybody thanks Starla. She's the one that does the um, tutorials to go with these cards for the kits. So this weekend I'll be working on the kit that just ended. So if you placed an order in the last couple weeks, you'll get that kit. Hopefully I'll get them in the mail Monday or Tuesday. All right, so there we go. And oh, you know what I forgot? The gems. I forgot all about the gems, okay. So for I've got for this one, I've got the champagne rhinestones, which are one of my favorites. So I hope they don't retire these. So we're gonna put one there. You really can't notice that little spot, I think. I didn't even really notice it unless I just stared at it. So put one of these in the center of those flowers. And then I've got rhine, regular rhinestones for the other one, for this one. I have three left on this sheet, so we'll just pop them wherever. And there you go. All right, so there's that one. I probably should have done that one with glitter since I didn't have one with glitter on that already. All right, so there's the cards. Yeah, I should have done that one with glitter. So then I'd have one of each. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so there you go. So what do you guys think? Do you like these cards? I hope so. Um, one, five, eight, nine, five, five to order the ribbon. Is that for this ribbon, Starla? And then this one is also in the big catalog. It's just the pale papaya, um, all the in colors. They have those same ones. Um, green sauce for the corned beef. Oh, I don't know. I've never heard of green sauce for corned beef. That's interesting. We had people mowing yards in Pennsylvania yesterday. Yeah, I do need to mow my yard, but I just haven't had time. Because we had some nice weather, but I've just been so busy. Um, hey, Joni. Yep, you'll have to watch the replay. Annie says we've had over 90 inches of snow in North Dakota. Holy cow. That's crazy. I don't understand. I saw a picture of that. I think it was Lake Tahoe. And they had plowed it. And it was literally like 30 feet tall. A wall on each side of the highway. And I don't even know how you would plow that. To get it that high in the air. I don't understand how they do that. but And I think I told you guys about that um, ski lift I saw. That was crazy. And the, the ski lift was all the way up to the chairs. The snow, I mean, was all the way up to the chairs. That is just crazy. All right, you guys ready for the joke? Let me pull that up real quick. And here we go. All right, a woman decided to give herself a big treat for her 70th birthday by staying overnight in a really nice hotel. When she checked out the next morning, the desk clerk handed her a bill for $250. She demanded to know why the charge was so high. I agree it's a nice hotel, but the rooms aren't worth $250 just for an overnight stay. I didn't even have breakfast. The clerk told her that $250 is a standard rate and breakfast had been included had she wanted it. She insisted on speaking to the manager. The manager appeared and forewarned by the desk clerk announced, this hotel has an Olympic sized pool and a huge conference center which are available for use. But I didn't use them, said the woman. 
Well, they are here and you could have. He went on to explain that she could have also seen one of the in-hotel shows for which they were famous. We have the best entertainers from the world performing here. But I didn't go to the shows. Well, we have them and you could have. No matter what amenity the manager mentioned, she replied, but I didn't use it. And the manager countered with his standard response. After several minutes discussion and with the manager still unmoved, she decided to pay, wrote a check and gave it to him. The manager was surprised when he looked at the check, but madam, this check is for only $50. That's correct. I charged you $200 for sleeping with me, but I didn't. Well, too bad. I was here and you could have. <laughs> I thought that was cute. It's always funny when you're reading a joke and you have no idea how it's going to end. And then you just get the punchline and you're like, ah, I didn't see that one coming. Um, Deborah, no shimmer spray on the napkin because it will make it just shrivel up. So you can't spray it. Oh, Joni, you saw the ski lift picture. I know. Wasn't that crazy? I've never seen snow, like that much snow anywhere. I just don't know how people live with um, that. And I really don't understand how the snow plows and stuff get it to be like straight up in the air. That's crazy. I don't know. All right. So you guys love that joke. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Like, comment, sh subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you want to place an order, just go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com. That's the host code for the next two weeks. And um, if your order's over $50, then you'll get the card kit. So you'll get either two of each or um, four of these or four of these. And then you can let me know if you want to do the glitter. I'll throw in the um, sticker paper if you want to do glitter. So when I send you an email thanking you for the order, you can tell me which which kit and if it, you want glit with glitter or no. All right, you guys, I am all done for today. So I'll be back Saturday night for date night with Lisa. And I've got a cute card already ready for Saturday. So um, that's a fun fold cute card. So I will be back then. So y'all take care. And thanks for joining me tonight, and I'll see you soon.